Smorgasbord. Is it smorgasbord or smorgasborg? Borg. Smorgasborg of food. I don't really have a theme. It's just kind of some things that I've thrown together. A subscriber actually kind of requested one of the meals we're making today. She requested a breakfast quiche. So I'm kind of doing a breakfast quiche. If you ever had cheeseburger pie when you were younger, I'm making an Octavia approved version of cheeseburger pie. So that's the first thing. The second thing we're making is cauliflower. Of course, we always have cauliflower in our recipes, uh, but it's just so simple and you can flavor it so many different ways. So this is a sausage and ricotta cheese casserole that also has cauliflower in it. So uh, yeah, I shouldn't have said the C word, Robbie hates cheese, but he'll be fine. It's really, really good. Uh, my dad has had this before and he actually thought it was mashed potatoes when I first made it. So let me show you what's in them. For this cheeseburger pie recipe, you will need one nine inch pie plate. You can use disposable or non-disposable. We need a pie plate and it's definitely something to put on our registry, so I'm using disposable for now. One cauliflower crust. I'm using the cauliflower brand, but of course you can also use the outer aisle. Six ounces of hamburger meat. I'm using the 96%, it's the leanest I could find. The equivalent of two egg whites, which is six tablespoons of this egg beaters. Four eggs. One cup of unsweetened almond milk. One cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. A fourth a teaspoon of salt. A fourth a teaspoon of pepper. And a cup of baby spinach. Don't mind Robbie's pot, he's actually there. Ow, don't touch his hot. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do for this cheeseburger pie, which by the way, is a rendition and kind of inspired by Sandy's Kitchen Adventure. She had like a Italian and red pepper quiche. So it's kind of like that, but I'm kind of making things my own, but she's definitely a wonderful chef and has really amazing ideas. And I've used some of them on the channel before. Anyway, so I'm going to preheat my oven to 350. Don't mind Robbie's pot right here. Uh, he's actually making his lunch for the week. So while I'm making dinners for the week, he's making his lunches that he takes to work. I've already pulled out the crust and it is thawing. It's actually pretty close to being done and thawed and I'm just about to put that into this pie plate. While my oven is preheating, I'm going to ground up and brown up eight ounces of uncooked hamburger meat, which will then yield about six ounces of cooked hamburger meat. <laughs> So, I'm going to grease this pie pan. I'm using the Pam olive oil. It's basically just sprayable olive oil. I just don't want anything to stick. And then I'm going to take this cauliflower crust and lay it in there. Now, it should fit pretty perfectly, but we will see. And perfect timing because oh, Oh, it does fit just perfectly. Perfect timing because my oven is just preheated. Now I'm gonna take this little crust in my pie pan and put it into the oven for five minutes and then I'm gonna put it on broil for two minutes to get a crispier crust. These are instructions straight from Sandy's Kitchen Adventures. Perfect. Okay, so in my bowl, I'm going to now whisk in my eggs. So again, I have four eggs. Pretty nice. My six tablespoons of egg whites. One cup of unsweetened almond milk, and I'm gonna give that a whisk. Now, as you can see, the hamburger meat is pretty much browned. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a cup of spinach and let that kind of cook in and wilt with my hamburger meat that will then be poured into this bowl with the egg whites in just a minute. So 
So now that I've whisked together my eggs and my almond milk, I'm going to now add in a cup of my shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And then in a second, I'm gonna add in my sausage and spinach. One cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And now I'll add in our hamburger meat and wilted cooked spinach. I'm gonna give it a good stir. As you can see, it looks just like a quiche would. And then lastly, I'm gonna add in my fourth a teaspoon of salt and fourth a teaspoon of pepper. And again, I'm gonna give that a good stir, a good whisk to make sure I've got that mixed in. Then I'm gonna pour this into my crust. It's a little overflowed, I must say. And then I'm gonna put this back in the oven for 45 to 50 minutes until it's done. It should be like, ah! Oh! Scrambled eggs consistency. So we can use our new timer. Where's that thing at? There it is. Um, I think I'm turning this backwards. I was, just a minute here. I'm gonna check it at about 45 minutes. And there you have it. The quiche is now out of the oven, and we stuck a toothpick in it and nothing came out, so it should be good to go. So the logistics for this pie, or quiche, are four servings with one lean, one green. You'll still need two more greens, so you can always add like a little salad next to it or something like that, it's up to you. And then also it's one condiment. So you still have two condiments left for the day, and you should be good to go. Okay, so for the sausage and ricotta cheese casserole, you will need three cups of cauliflower. Now you know that we use cauliflower bits or cauliflower rice like every single week, so that's totally fine. You can also use like regular cauliflower and just chop it up into the florets and then do all the boiling and stuff, but this is just so much easier. So three cups of it, no matter if it's in its little tree form or if it's in its rice form, it's fine. 12 ounces of turkey sausage uncooked. One tablespoon of minced garlic, which equals about one clove of garlic. A third a cup of low sodium chicken broth. One cup of ricotta cheese. This one is low fat. You can use regular if you want to. However, for this recipe, I'm using low fat. And so everything that has to do with like condiments wise and all of the logistics of the <laughs> recipe are gonna be based on the low fat ricotta cheese. One and a half cups of spinach. Cooking spray and a third a cup of Parmesan cheese. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and the wonderful thing about these bags of cauliflower rice is you can actually steam them in the microwave. So on the back it tells me, and I never remember, I'm going to heat these for two minutes. I'm not gonna even puncture the bag. I'm just going to simply throw it in. Ta-da. And I'm going to cook it for two minutes. So it's steaming that, and while it's doing that, I'm going to prepare my turkey sausage. Okay, so I have cooked up the sausage and the spinach, the spinach is wilted. I'm going to add in my one teaspoon of minced garlic and also my chicken broth and then I'm gonna give it a good stir. Now I'm gonna add in the three cups of cauliflower. So it used up about one bag. I'm gonna give this a good stir, make sure everything's mixed together well. There we go. And then I'm gonna add in that one cup of low-fat ricotta cheese. All right, give it a good stir carefully because you don't want everything to go everywhere. You wanna make sure you work the ricotta cheese all the way down to the bottom so that it's kind of the glue for this entire casserole. So bring things up, fold it in, 
Should look a little something like this. Then I'm gonna give this pan a good spray. Like I said, you don't want anything sticking. And I'm gonna pour this mixture into the Pyrex dish. There we go. To top it, I'm gonna add my one third a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna sprinkle it over the top, making sure that I'm doing it evenly. You can use your fingers if you need to, no big deal. And then I'm gonna put this in the oven at 425 for 10 to 15 minutes. Just watch it, you'll see that the cheese will get kind of bubbly and crisp on top and that's how you know it's done. So like I said, you can see it's browning and getting a little bubbly on top, so I'm gonna pull it out, it's done. And this recipe equals three servings and each serving is one lean, three green, and two condiments. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed these meals. If you have any suggestions for me or comments about what I've made, please leave them down in the comments. I'd love to kind of cater to those who are on program and a little stuck with lean and greens. I definitely have been there. So pretty soon I'm gonna be doing a 1,000 subscriber special. So it's gonna be five days of videos, some vlogs, mostly off to via related things with a Q and A at the end. So be watching for that. It's like a whole new channel relaunch. I'm so excited to keep bringing these to y'all and so thankful for all of y'all who have subscribed and who watched the channel. I love you all and God bless ya.